What's up YouTube? I got a quick video for you guys today. Today we're gonna change the the power light right here. As you guys can tell, I'm gonna turn this thing on. There's no red power light. So what I'm gonna do is gonna replace this power light and I got some LEDs right here from eBay. Shipped within two days. Um, about two dollars for ten of these. And I got some resistors. So I got some small resistors, and these resistors are 3,000 ohms. So resistors, 3,000, right? Yeah, 3,000 ohms and LED lights. And so I got a whole bunch. I got different color ones. But today we're just going to do a red one. Um, maybe in the future I'll change it up but for today we're just gonna do a red one so keep this thing a little original uh, two dollars each two dollars two dollars and then on Aliexpress I ordered ten of these for 50 cents each and what is this I got a case check it out for 50 cents each I bought ten of these so only for five bucks free shipping 50 cents I got a battery cover. Look at that. Super OEM. A little bit discolored, but that's fine. OEM, you guys. Works perfectly. 50 cents. Isn't that great? All right. So, we're going to start with taking, disassembling this thing, and then we'll get straight into it. Today will be a quick video. I know you guys, if you guys want to see me disassemble, then go back to my old videos. Uh, link in the description. Uh, how to disassemble these, but let's, I'll catch you guys when this is all disassembled. All right, you guys. So I disassembled just the two, right? And I took off this. The back plate, you can put this aside. We don't need this. So put that aside. What you will need to do is then take off all of the bolts that connected connects this uh, PCB to the case. And so, we're gonna take this apart like so. We're gonna put this aside. What you'll need for the next step is you'll need your LEDs, the resistor, 3000 ohm resistors, a desoldering wick, right? Um, you might not need this, but it really is helpful to have a desoldering wick. Essentially what it does is it's gonna suck up the solder once we heat it up and especially if you see here at the LED, let's see that. Let's see if we can zoom in. So, so right here at the LED, it's very, there's a lot of solder that we have to take off. And that's where the LED is. And not so much where the resistor is. So that's okay. We can probably easily take that off with some tweezers and some soldering. And you also need a soldering iron. You'll need a solder. So what I'm going to do, so the resistor is right here, the resistor is right there, right there, and so, which corresponds to the, these two pins right up here. So these two pins, so what I'm going to do is take the soldering wick, I'm going to place it on top, and it's going to suck up the solder. Right. It's going to suck up any solder. So I got a little wedge in there with this again. All right. Place a little tension in there with my clippers type thing. You don't have to do this uh, technique. It just works for me right now. But look, one of them popped out. See? So that one of them popped out. A uh, really bad V. I'm sorry, you guys. So that popped out right here. So I'm gonna just put the solder right there. And look. Oh, ouch. So. Eh. Oh, here it is. So resistor. Out. Oh, tiny resistor. And what I read from online is that these resistors. Are, it doesn't matter the orientation that you put the resistors in. 
Um, for capacitors and other things, you have to really worry about the orientation, but apparently not with these. So the orientation doesn't matter, meaning I'm just gonna bend it, right? Bend it like so. Gonna bend the resistor, and then I'm gonna put it in the hole. It's easy as that. So resistor in there, push it in. Busted resistors. Sorry, you guys. There you go. Probably covered the whole thing. There you go. Okay. So. So that actually might fix the LED. Let's go. Let's give it a try, actually. All right, so it didn't fix it. There's still no light right there. It's still not lighting up. So let's uh, we're gonna remove we're gonna remove the LED now. So what we're gonna do is use our wick again and we're going to go to these two points right here so if i can zoom in we're going to use these two points right here with our wick so what i'm going to do is find a good spot so you gotta be careful because this is close to this is very close to this so we're gonna have to yeah be very careful. Use this thing again. Just kind of place it underneath there. Uh. You know what? I'm just going to push it through. Push it through. Oh, I pulled it out. So, here it is. I don't know if you guys can see this. There it is right there. So, that's the LED. So, LED, this is the thing that's broken. So, and it kind of looks broken. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it looks kind of broken. Who knows? Maybe it doesn't work. So, I got a new one right here. Let's grab a red one. All right, you guys. So, sadly, I, I changed the view because I realized my camera setup was pretty bad. So I was able to take off the, the LED, the busted LED, and just to let you guys know, there's an orientation on this. So this arrow is pointing to that line, meaning it's pointing to the negative. I gotta clean that solder up. Let me clean this up for you. Oh, this thing gets hot. All right, so. This thing is pointing to the negative LED. Resistors don't have orientations, but these do. So you notice that one side is one side is longer than the other. The shorter side, the shorter side is this is bad. All right. So the shorter side is the the cathode, the negative side. So what you're gonna have to do is stick it in the correct orientation. So remember, it's pointing to the negative line the vertical line is negative is the indication so you put the smaller side in there like so let me make this hole bigger there you go Okay, so LEDs in there. You see the length. 
Length is downwards, closer to the speaker, okay? If that helps you guys. I'm gonna make sure the LED is flat. I'm gonna add some solder and then we'll test it out. See if it works. Battery's not in, sorry about that. Huh. Hmm. Light's not working. So... I don't know. Fail. Changing light, fail. Fail. Well, comment below if you guys know how to fix it. So remember, Perlite, the black is the cathode and the red is the anode. So you gotta do this correctly in that certain... So... If I put this, oh, look, it lights up. See that? So that works. So let me, I'm going to move down the line. So that flickers a little bit. It flickered. So I'm just going to listen for continuity now. So continuity there, it lights up right there, but right about here, I think. So this solder point lights up and it beeps, right? I see the light, but when I touch that part right there, when I touch this part right here on this one, it doesn't light up. So I'm assuming it has to be right here. I'm assuming, I'm looking at it right now, and it looks like it just needs to be resoldered. So let's give it a try. So that's the thing right there. So let's give that a try. I'm gonna just resolder this a little bit. Just kind of get it over. And it looks like it's kind of not really soldered well, in honesty. So what I just did was I just kind of moved that solder onto all I did was I moved some of that solder onto that part to see if it, you know, works or not. And, you know, that being said, I probably didn't have to replace the LED. <laughs> so let's give this a try again. Oh, I'm going to switch this correctly, of course. So I'm going to put that there. Check again. So that lights up. Oop. Sorry, you guys. So that lights up, right? This there. That's a capacitor, so it's not bypassing anything. All right. So that beeps. That's good. Look at that. So that lights up there. But I'm going to touch on this end. Hmm. That doesn't really light up either. But I'm touching really close to the wire right there. Right there, see that? So this is what I just kind of moved the solder over because they kind of look corroded-ish. So, and I, this right here. Okay. Oh wait, maybe a battery. Oh yeah, see look, the battery wasn't in fully. All right, so the light works, you guys. Check it out. So maybe I didn't need to re replace everything, but at least I was able to make a video to teach you guys. Um, so, Quick recap, with the resistors, there's no polarity, so any orientation that you guys put it in. However, the LED, you have to make sure that you guys are putting in the correct orientation, where the cathode is, the or the negative is the shorter one, and the positive is the, the anode. And you guys have to remember that, I'll give you guys a little diagram, that the arrow right there's an arrow and it points to the negative side so when you're attaching your leads the shorter one right the shorter one goes to the negative and the longer one is the positive which is on this side so when you guys are putting in the holes put in the correct orientation all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this educational right i'm going to put this back together and uh 
we'll get a final a final uh, look at it and I, a little recap and I hope you guys enjoyed it but let me put this thing together and I'll be right back complete Game Boy with a working LED but we gotta test it out now oh lights are on Nintendo look at that bright light Oh, you can see that from the moon. Yeah, it's not too bright, but it works. The sound works perfectly. Seven dollars. Um, these two bucks. I think two bucks, maybe a dollar fifty actually for all the for both of these. A dollar fifty, dollar fifty. So let me turn the sound down. That's freaking loud. <laughs> so this fix was, you know, it wasn't a dollar for both of these, but $3 because resistors and resistors. So remember you guys, 3000 ohm resistor, 3K, right? And LED lights off eBay. Um, I got a, I got a, a mixture of them because I'm planning on maybe um, changing the shells. And if I do that, then I can change the lights too to correspond with them. And somebody on Reddit also gave me the idea to do backlights in corresponding shell case colors. So, uh, you guys watched my previous video of me fixing this. It was broken with vertical lines. And also, watch my 7 Craigslist unboxing. And there's some other unboxing videos I got in the future store. But if I get 100 likes on my Craigslist, 7 Craigslist Game Boys, then I'm doing a giveaway. So... Why not? Free giveaway for any, for the subs make sure you begin to make sure you like the video, subscribe and comment on that video and I'll be giving a lucky fan of one of these Game Boys that I fixed. All right? So, I hope you guys enjoyed and oh, it's playing. Oh my god. Oh. Let's let's quickly go into a game. All right. Let's see if I can uh win. Not <laughs> All right, you guys. The owner here signing out. Please subscribe. <coughs> Catch you next time. Excuse me. <laughs> Love you guys.